Hello everyone and welcome to How to Play Video Games Basic Training. This is going to be a small video series of for those who don't know exactly how to play video games mainly on the computer. Because there are if you've never played a video game before, you might have trouble such as running into walls and not knowing how to turn properly or not knowing exactly what something wants you to do when they assume you know what to do. So, what we're going to do is start with a game, which many people already know about, Snake. It's very simple, and uh, what, it's going to, what this exercise is going to do is help those learn how to use a single hand to perform movement. What is that? You don't know what Snake is and how to get to it? Alright, well, I suppose there are some people who've never heard of it. Snake is a game where you play as a single line and you control the movement of that line to eat little dots. Each dot you eat increases the length of your line. The goal of the game is to eat as many dots as you can and to get as long as you can. But you gotta be careful because the longer you are the easier it is to hit yourself which will end the game. To get to the game all you have to do is google snake online and it should be the first link. Most games use the arrow keys or the WASD keys to move. For now we're just going to focus on the arrow keys. We are going to use one hand to try to move the snake around. The up key will move it upwards, down will move it downwards, left and right will move it left and right. What you want to try to do is use your index finger for the left arrow, your middle finger for the up and down arrow, and your ring finger for the right arrow. Note that you can't immediately change direction when you're using the snake. Here we have the snake game screen after you searched it on Google and selected it. You can choose a difficulty level. The easiest is slug and the hardest is python. I suggest you start on slug if you aren't, if you aren't very comfortable with doing this yet. It'll help you get better at it, and when you feel that you've reached the next level, I'll go ahead and try Worm, then Python. Do note that this also uses the WASD key, so you'll be able to use this same application to practice with your left hand on moving around with WASD. Now with the help of this volunteer who hasn't played very many video games, we're going to see if she can do uh, use this application for practice and how she feels about it after trying it for a bit. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> and she already lost. Can you slow it, it looks down? like she wasn't ready. No, that was on the easiest difficulty. Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. All right, here we go again. Okay. We'll, we'll, tr we'll try it again. Okay. Go ahead and click a button. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. I I hit this button. I wasn't hitting it hard enough or what? No, you can't turn right around through your own body. Oh. You would have to move down and then around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's let's <laughs> give it another shot then. <laughs> All right, go ahead, hit enter. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, once again. You see, even if someone, if if it's with someone who's never really played a game before, this can be much harder than it seems because they're not used to the fine motor skills that other people who have played games since they were young developed. Go ahead and hit enter. <clears throat> How about we try, have you tried just moving in a circle for now? Okay. Just ignore the dots and move in a circle. Alright, there you go. You know how to move in a circle. Uh, 
<laughs> My hand is shaking. You gotta be fast. Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> okay. There you go. You got that one. Ah. Uh. Dang it. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> So do you do you feel like this this would help you in getting better at controlling like a direction? <laughs> I guess, but it, it there needs to be a a low speed, a medium speed, and a fast speed because it just is, starts you out on the fast. No, speed. no, this this is the slow speed. Do you want to see the fastest speed? Uh, Go ahead, hit enter, hit enter. We'll show you the fastest speed. All right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Holy mac! What? <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to push the button. You see? Okay, so we'll, we'll try it one more time. Go ahead, hit enter. And then we'll just try the slug. Here, maybe this tip will help too. I noticed you've been pushing the buttons and holding them. You don't need to hold them down. Oh. Your uh, your snake will continue to move in the direction that you pressed. So go ahead and try to do it without holding the buttons down. This is so stressful. <laughs> okay. Well, playing games are supposed to be stressful. Aren't, aren't playing video games easy? <laughs> I don't know go. the answer to that. <laughs> All right. Well, you just need more practice. That that's what this is for. This isn't a very complicated game. All it uses is the four keys. Well, there is an, a, an extreme flaw to this game in that you cannot turn around on a dime because... In real life, you would be able to pivot on your foot and go back the way you came and not run into the wall every time and hear the toll. But this so. isn't real life. Oh, The thing is, <laughs> is the challenge is that you have to avoid hitting your own body as well once you get long enough. Yeah, that would be a long time from now for me. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll practice for a day or so and then come back and show everyone your progress.